Hey everybody, got uh, got some more changes in hoping to balance the game a little bit better. I made the auto use of potions change as well as the uh, nerfing how badly your enemies will whittle down your uh, your defense. <coughs> also, I did add the golem in and I added in the exit. The amulet currently does nothing. I just wanted to see make sure that the uh, golem looks okay and we're gonna we're gonna find it. and how would I know the golem doesn't look okay you might ask the reason is that my graphics are not ever actual bitmaps or PNGs they are they are string patterns if you if you've taken a look at the code you've seen uh, my patterns which are dots and X's so I don't actually see my graphics until uh, I run the game there because there are no there are no graphics media resources and that's just a weird oddity of me and how I develop. But let's let's carry on. Let's focus the window every single time I do. All right. So now we we still are, have plenty of time that we've added. And now that's that's the exit. Currently does nothing, so I can go on the exit. Does not a thing. Come on, give me something. There's the key. I had to, um, in the auto use potion stuff, I had to also put it for traps. Because the traps could kill you. Because <laughs> it was just, it would just increase your wounds by one. It didn't care if you had any potions. That's a ghoul. And a ghoul, we can't even hit until our attack is at three so we'll wait we can you know get ourselves super killed and one of the next things I think besides of course implementing the amulet doing something which will have something to do with being able to see treasure still not quite sure yet exactly what form that'll take Oh, I do need also need some of these sounds, but that's that's not really that's an immaterial. That's a non-functional change. That's a polish sort of thing. Um, currently, I go okay. I got a locked door. Do I have a key? Yes, yes, I do. But how do I how do I know? So I, I'm thinking when you have a key, it will light up the locks in a different color than what they're currently. Uh, showing as, and that way you can just visually determine, hey, I can unlock locks now. I don't have to look up in the corner. That was one of the other things that I wind up not liking in the game, is that I have to look up in that corner. I shouldn't have to look up in that corner. So additionally, um, one of the things I don't like is Okay, now I don't have to so much deter uh, figure out, hey, what is my health, but I do have to keep track of, do I have at least a p one potion left? I don't really care until such time as I'm on my last potion. <coughs> okay, we're at four. We can take on we could take on the golem, but it'll take four hits. That's gonna burn through a lot, so we're gonna wait. So yes, I want I want it to be visually very, very simple and straightforward for me to be able to assess without having to look up in that corner where I'm at. And in order to do that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to color the little arrow of the guy. And we can we can start smushing zombies, can't we? And I wanna see we go through these zombies and see what happens. How? How? Okay, that guy went chewed through some armor. How about that guy? He did not. It's a one in. It's not just a one in six chance. It's, it's a. The monsters have different attack ratings. A zombie has a one. So something with a one in six chance. Something with an attack of one has a one in six chance of chewing through part of my armor. 
something with a two has a two and six chance. So it's the the attack of the monster in sit out of six is the uh, uh, frequency at which I will lose one of the the shields. So that gives it rewards uh, the the more difficult monsters and allows them to chew through my armor more quickly. And I'm thinking there might even be a weird issue. So, okay, I've got... Will it... I'm not sure. I don't have the code in front of me. But I've got a three, which... Or I've, got a, I've got a four in attack. So... Um, and he's got... He's got a three in attack, so he should do. Let me get some more shield. Let me get another shield, and then we're gonna see if I wind up with a weird. I suspect I have a bug. Well, the ghoul. The ghoul has attack of two, defense of two. So he should heal me if I've got the bug that I think, and if not, then I should take two hits to kill him. Uh, okay, good. I I did do that. I I was I was intelligent enough to minimize the to to require at least zero damage. All right. Good good bug to not find. Ever have that where you kind of question yourself and what you're doing? Here's a mummy. Should smush. That's nice. Okay, so the it will. So the next thing to balance really is uh, now again how much armor to give out, and of course per difficulty level because I got the three difficulty levels currently. Working on balance normal, and then we'll get to easy. Get that. Of course, if I win with all kinds of potions left, then I know I'm too easy. But if it's a big... Whoop, whoops. If I end with only like one or zero potions and a low number of health, it means that the thing's a bit of a challenge. There is, however, not a whole lot of well, there's some randomness. There's randomness in how well your armor's going to hold up. Other than that, there's not like a random two hit. I suppose the which um, monsters and items are generated outside of the fixed items. Okay, so apparently mummies, mummies be having the shields today. And some zombies too. All right, I got keys a plenty, so I will go back. Up, oh, not that way. I will go back and open my doors. Kill. Okay. A mostly disappointing day. Okay. And the zombie just stands there at the end of the corridor as I charge him. Come on now. Yeah, I think at this point, game is too easy. Oh. Game is too easy. But that's 
part of the nature of balancing before it was way too hard now it is way too easy you go round after round you play test it you hand it to your friends and they tell you that they got a score of 80 gazillion super easily by the thing that uh, you thought was a cool feature that actually made it hard So really, I'm, not, it's, I'm, I'm glad I'm not having to stare at my health the whole time. Ugh. And my, my armor hasn't gone into a crazy level. It hasn't, I don't think, gone past three. And plenty of times it is at zero. What I'm seeing now, too many potions. Too much potions. Or maybe my uh, maybe my initial health of 10 is too high. Maybe I will try it with 5. Ding. I haven't found the... I haven't found the fifth sword. Looking for the, or really the fourth sword you start out with. An attack of one. Okay, there's that guy. I, he's got a t defense of three and a health of five. I could, <coughs> I could defeat him. Because he will get, I can only, I can only, It'll take four, five hits for me to do it, so he will do a total of 15. I got potions for days, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And there's the love interest. Love interest is going to make my health go up by 10. Or my maximum health go up by 10. So when, when I next take a potion, my... Uh, yeah, that's that. So I think a health of five or having it depend on your uh, difficulty level that could be one of the big deals okay and now I get my fully maximized sword thing and it smushes I got the sort of smushiness so here's another thing where I could make weapons work the same way his armor. Okay, so there's one there. I want to make sure. Where is the amulet? Did I not? I didn't see an amulet. Is it not, not on the uh, list? I did not see it. Did I miss it? Well, that should be the last one. Ooh. I missed something. Oh, that's a... Yeah, maybe this whole cool idea of... I could have missed anything. Wow, that sucks. I got a lot of... Oh, wait, wait. There he is. He's in the corner. Oh, he's a really bad color. That's a bad, bad color. Did I make him gold? I made him copper, didn't I? Uh. Uh, okay. Yep, see now. And I got my amulet. I'm still missing a treasure somewhere. I missed a treasure and you probably watched me do it. In any case, not. So actually, now I also need to get rid of the drink. The drink is no longer necessary. Yuck. So I did effectively win.
but too easy because I got seven potions left. So okay, so for next time we're gonna reduce the incidence of potions. We're gonna cut the health in half. And I think Yeah, I think I think the shield thing is, is working as is. But I'm gonna re yeah, re reduce health by a half, reduce potions by one half. And come up with a better color for the golem, because that, that was awful. I could not see him. All right. So, good session. Got some action items. And we're going to go ahead and make those changes and regroup. And thanks for watching.